Barcelona has a love affair with books. It's just a bibliophile's paradise. You are going to love Barcelona's book traditions. If you enjoy amazing stories, wonderful people from past and present, and great books, then this is the channel for you. There are over 300 bookstores in Barcelona. There are used bookstores and new bookstores and bookstores for children. And there are even antiquarian bookstores. If you want a 15th century manuscript, there are places here where you can look at books that are 500 years old. Just really incredible tradition, literary tradition, not just of books, but also of different languages. I visited a bookstore that was all in English. And there are bookstores in French. Of course, most of the bookstores are Catalan, Catala, as they say in Catalan, and in Spanish. Just amazing. And they're small, really small. I mean, they're just, you walk in and maybe it's two rooms, three rooms, and everyone has its own feel. And you can tell that they're really supported by the community. So it's just wonderful to see so many bookstores and so many people reading of all ages. There's a direct correlation between literacy and the views of the population. And you can definitely feel the openness here in Barcelona as they welcome people from around the world. There are not only 300 bookstores, but there are 500 books published in Spain every week. 500 a week. That's a lot of books. And there are so many places to enjoy them. Not just the bookstores, but also libraries. And one of the best and largest places to look at used books is the San Antoni Booksellers Market every Sunday. And since 1936, about 15,000 people come out every Sunday to take a look at used books. And it's everything from modern works to historical works that were published many years ago. And one of the sweetest things is that children gather and they exchange not just stickers and other things they'd like to exchange, but also comic books. And so there's a sense that you read something, you enjoy it, and then you pass it on. Again, wonderful, wonderful tradition. Just heartwarming to see everybody reading. <laughs> Last year, a new library was opened in Barcelona named after Gabriel Garcia Marquez. So in May 2022, this space opened its doors to everyone in Barcelona, and it's dedicated to Latin American authors. So there are hundreds and hundreds of works here from Latin America for children, for young adults, and, and of course for adults. So really amazing architectural story that I wanna share with you and a little bit about the background of this building. So it's named for the Colombian author Gabriel Garcia Marquez, who actually lived here in Barcelona between 1967 and 1975, and where he wrote his work, The Autumn of the Patriarch. So to have a library in a country named after an author from another country in and of itself is pretty interesting. But I think it's also an acknowledgement of the current situation in Spain, and, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about that as well. The building was designed by a very gifted group of young architects from Suma Arquitectónica. And this group submitted their design in 2015. It was built over from 2015 to 2022 and then opened in May for the public. Just a jewel of a building. If you have a chance to visit, really recommend it. This building has so much natural light. There are areas for sitting comfortably and reading and perusing the books and just 
enjoying all of the Latin American authors that are offered there. The architects called this building the Enchanted Forest. And so you can feel the light coming in as you would in a forest. And they also chose to use the forms of books for different parts of the building. Also very, very well done. They're calling it where pragmatism meets whimsical. And that's that's absolutely true about this building. It's, it's a beautiful building and the architects say that they were inspired by the magical realism of Latin American literature. What a beautiful way to put an idea or to celebrate the idea of magical realism in a building and then fill it full of Latin American authors. Amazing, wonderful. <laughs> the building is a wonderful addition to the literary scene in Barcelona, but I think it's also an acknowledgement, an acknowledgement that Spain right now has about 10% of its current population is about 48 million people, and about 10% were born in Latin America, in its old colonies. And so students and residents here come from Latin America. So there's plenty of people who would be interested in reading books from different Latin American countries. But the reality is that Spain is an old country. The population is not replacing itself. And so like many, many other countries, it's completely dependent on those seeking better opportunities to come to Spain and to do all the work that needs to get done. This, I think, in a way, is kind of a way to celebrate the community on which Spain depends by this honoring of a Latin American author in this beautiful new building. I like to call the 10% population from Latin America here La Reconquista. We're just conquering Spain as Spain conquered Latin American countries. <laughs> Now I want to share with you my favorite of the Catalan traditions with regards to books. And it is the celebration of the festival of San Jordi. San Jordi, or St. George, San Jorge, is the patron of Catalonia, the entire province where Barcelona is the capital. And so San Jordi is said to have come upon a town that was being threatened by a dragon and he slayed the dragon with his sword and out of the wound came red roses. San Jordi then takes a rose and presents it to the local princess and so from the 15th century when San Jordi is proclaimed the patron of Catalonia it's a celebration of love and a celebration of books on April 23rd, the Festival of San Jordi, people are presented with roses and books as a sign of love. And since the 15th century, you can visit the chapel of San Jordi in the Generalitat, which is kind of like the city hall, where they would have lovers fairs. So this has been going on for over 500 years. Pretty amazing that people would give each other roses and eventually books, more recently books, obviously, because in the 15th century, <laughs> there weren't books as they are now. Traditionally, women were given roses and men were given books. Thankfully, now everybody gets books and some people get roses. <laughs> but what a great way to tell someone you love them by presenting them with a book. Nothing better than saying, here, I wanna share these ideas. I wanna expand your mind. I wanna just share this beautiful book with you. <laughs> So on April 23rd, every year in Barcelona and other towns in Catalonia, stalls are set up in the streets and booksellers come out to sell books. And some authors will even put out their own table and start signing, dedicating books as they sell their works in celebration of San Jordi. People take these books and then give them as gifts to their loved ones. So how many books and roses are sold in celebration of San Jordi? Well, in 2023, about six million roses and half a million books were sold in celebration of San Jordi. That is a lot of books and a lot of roses. <laughs> so you can see that people really take this seriously. This would perhaps be equivalent to Valentine's Day in other parts of the world, but El Dia de San Jordi is sacred in Barcelona and you have to give those people you care about books and roses. Isn't that a wonderful idea? Great celebration. <laughs> 
now for my favorite part of the video, the book recommendations. <laughs> first Catalan author that I want to talk to you about today is Carlos Ruiz Safron. And I've mentioned his books before, but he really brought to the fore this relationship that Catalonia has with books. And his books take place in Barcelona, and many of them have to do with books themselves. And so if you've read Shadow of the Wind, La Sombra del Viento, wonderful, wonderful story and book set in Barcelona, if you haven't, highly recommend it. And as always, check your local library, check your local booksellers. We want to do what the Catalans do. They support their local booksellers. So many small booksellers, wonderful booksellers here. And we want to do that everywhere. So check with them if they perchance do not have the books that you're seeking. What we do is we always include links below so that you can purchase books from independent booksellers online, new or used. In the description box, I will list the books by Carlos Ruiz Safron because they're really worthwhile. The second book that I'm going to recommend is the 2022 Premio Plata. So this almost 800 page tome is just fascinating. It's just mouthwatering historical fiction, although there are some events that actually occurred. And this book talks about Louisiana and the relationship that France and Spain had as Louisiana's passed back and forth, right? Because it is part of the Spanish Empire and then it is part of the French. It is part of the French and then it's part of the Spanish. It literally goes back and forth. Really interesting and it talks about Louisiana from the French perspective, from the Spanish perspective, and also from some of the indigenous perspective. There are indigenous leaders that play a part in this novel. It was really, really good. Highly recommend it. It's called Lejos de Louisiana. I'll definitely link it below so that you can take a look at it. <laughs> the next book that I want to recommend is a wonderful book that I picked up at a little bookstore among the many bookstores that I have visited here in Barcelona. <laughs> It's a story of a woman called Madi. And so she escapes the traditional norms. And in the 20s, after the civil war in Spain, she is hiding in the Pyrenees. And as the Second World War begins, she starts helping those who need to cross out of Spain, into Spain, etc. I won't give away the end, but it's amazing the adventures that she has getting people in and out and getting goods to those who need them. It's a true story, which in and of itself is incredible. And so a woman who should be recognized for her incredible courage, her incredible humanity, and it's a wonderful read. So thoroughly recommend it. It's in Spanish and it's called Madi y las Fronteras. So again, I'll link it below. It's really worthwhile. It's a very small, small book but it's really delicious reading. <laughs> so I want to dedicate this video to my compadre who was born here in Barcelona and who shared so many of the, the Catalan traditions with us. Jesus, este video es para ti. Thank you so much for joining us on this joint journey, for enjoying the books that we present. We love to hear what it is that you're reading what you'd like us to talk about in these videos. We would love you to subscribe to Latina Literati and just be in touch. Let us know what is it you're reading? What is it you'd like us to talk about? As always, con mucho cariño, mucho salud y mucho amor. Gracias. Bye.